There are two main methods to program your GE Universal Remote for Roku devices. You can use manual programming with specific codes or the auto search method for automatic detection. Let's start with the manual programming method. This requires specific codes for your Roku device and your GE Universal Remote. First, make sure your Roku device is powered on and ready to receive commands. Next, find the code list for your specific GE remote model. This is usually located inside the battery compartment or available on the manufacturer's website. Enter setup mode by pressing and holding the setup button on your GE remote until the indicator light turns on and stays lit. Press the button corresponding to your device type. Use the TV button for Roku TVs or the ADRM button if your remote has one for streaming devices. Enter the four-digit code for Roku from your code list using the number buttons. The indicator light should turn off if the code is entered correctly. Test the remote by trying various buttons like power, volume, and navigation. If the Roku responds correctly, programming is complete. If not, try another code from the list. The auto search method automatically cycles through codes to find the right one for your Roku device. This method doesn't require you to look up specific codes. Here are the auto search steps. First, enter setup mode as before. Select your device type. Then press and release the power button, followed by releasing the setup button. The remote will automatically cycle through codes. When your Roku device responds by turning off or on, immediately press setup to lock in that code. Finally, test all functions to ensure they work properly. Both methods are effective for programming your GE remote. Manual programming is faster if you have the correct code, while auto search is more reliable when specific codes don't work. Remember, both methods require a clear line of sight between your remote and Roku device.